Let the hype begin. So today was an awesome day of video game news and some movie news as well, since they just dropped the trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and that baby Groot is cute and adorable in every way, but this video is going to be about The Last of Us Part 2 and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Now, I heard some pretty interesting rumors about Infinite. I heard that Capcom was planning on removing all of the X-Men characters because they had trouble owning the rights uh, due to Fox owning the X-Men or something. So this might be the first Marvel vs. Capcom game ever without any X-Men characters. And I hope this is not true. I really hope this is not true because it just would not be a Marvel vs. Capcom game without any X-Men characters in it. I think Wolverine was in these games since the beginning. So damn, if they straight up take out all the mutants and just replace it, replace them with like other Marvel characters from the Marvel Universe. Ah, that's gonna be weird, man. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna have like a $30 DLC where you have to purchase to download additional characters throughout the seasons. And you know, in this new age of gaming, everything has to be included in a season pass. Everything can't be on the disc from day one. It really irritates me. <laughs> So, I don't know if I'm going to buy this thing on day one, unless they put my boy Venom back in there from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And if they put Cable back in there too, I might... Well, wait, see, Cable, uh, he, he's mostly with the X-Men, right? So, if they're not going to have any X-Men characters, they might take out Cable. So, damn. No, no. Damn, I hope they don't do that. That's going to suck. Ugh. Well, hopefully this rumor is not true and they keep the damn x-men characters in there so if they bring my boy venom back i will purchase this game on day one or else i'll just wait for like the ultimate edition where they include all the characters on the disc with all the extra dlc and that stuff um so the trailer they showed was just like a cgi cinematic trailer similar to what you would see from marvel vs. capcom 3 the previous game and no gameplay was shown. Uh, I believe they are going to show gameplay later on tonight. So I'm pretty sure once I upload this video, there's going to be gameplay of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite all over YouTube. Uh, the trailer just showed Ryu with uh, Mega Man. Or as our good friends from the Land of the Rising Sun know as Rockman. Going up against Iron Man and Miss Marvel, since she has her own live-action movie coming out pretty soon. She's going to be, you know, introduced into the uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I guess they're going to have to incorporate her into this brand new game somehow. So, uh, I really don't know what they plan on doing it. I don't know why they are calling it Infinite. Maybe they're going to have an infinite amount of downloadable characters? I don't know. I believe Marvel vs. Capcom 2 had around 50 characters. It would be awesome if they do keep the X-Men characters and just increase the roster to like a hundred. You know, 50 characters from Marvel, 50 characters from Capcom. That would be sick. That would be so damn awesome. I, I highly doubt they'll do something like that though. They're gonna fucking cock tease us and be like, oh yeah, here's a couple characters as DLC. Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, what? It's 2017 already? Guess what? We have an Ultimate Edition! Aha! Uh -huh. Give us your money, suckers! Yeah, yeah, I know how Capcom is. I've been a gamer for a long time, so I know the routine. Anyways, let's move on to The Last of Us Part 2. Um, pretty interesting trailer. Not really a lot was shown, just mainly Ellie. She's shown, uh... She, she, she's has age, I guess. She's like a older teen, or maybe she's like in her early 20s. I'm not quite sure on her age, but she's like sitting there playing a guitar. Then shows Joel walking in, holding a gun. And he's like, are you sure you want to do this, kiddo? And she, uh, Ellie's like, I'm going to find them and kill every last one of them. So I'm not sure if she's referring to the infected or if she's referring to maybe like another group of survivors similar to, I think, were, were they called the Fireflies in the first game? Or was it um, something else? It might have been the Fireflies. Correct me please if I'm wrong. <laughs> but yeah, it, I'm, I, it didn't really make me jump out of my seat out of excitement because 
I kind of expected that Naughty Dog were going to make a uh, sequel to The Last of Us. I mean, this was, for me, I, I just kind of predicted it. I just knew that it was going to happen. So, you know, I, I didn't really like jump out for joy and be like, yeah, woo, woo, Last of Us 2, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I am excited though. So I will most likely purchase it on release day and continue on the story of Joel and Ellie and see what new infected they introduce because I'm pretty sure they're gonna have to introduce new forms of the infected right they gotta they'll probably still keep some of the clickers but introduce some new clickers uh, new human enemies of course because you know in a post-apocalyptic world there's always bad people <laughs> that you have to fight and survive you know but uh yeah looks good I mean, it's Naughty Dog, they never drop the ball. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, and also another huge major announcement that I'm excited for for 2017 is the re the re-release, or, well, remastered, I guess you could say, remastered versions of the Crash Bandicoot trilogy. And these things are going to be remastered from the ground up, which means they're going to have completely fresh new graphics. These are not going to be, like, um you know like hd remade graphics like they do most ports where they just call it oh it's remastered but it's not really remastered it's just in hd yeah no this is going to be remastered from the ground up and i'm looking forward to playing the crash bandicoot trilogy on ps4 so uh that last of us part two looks awesome have no idea what the hell they're doing with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Hopefully it will be awesome. I mean, all the other ones have been awesome, so let's hope and cross our fingers that this one will be awesome as well. Alright, so uh, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Uh, other games I'm looking forward to in 2017. The brand new God of War, of course. Uh, the brand new remake to Final Fantasy VII, of course. Uh, what else? Spider-Man... Uh, oh, eh, the big one, Red Dead Redemption 2, which is, just, that's going to be huge. That is going to be huge. Um, man, I don't think any other game next year could top Red Dead Redemption 2 once that thing comes out. So that's definitely going to be a game to look out for in 2017. And hopefully Square Enix will drop a release date for Kingdom Hearts 3. Very much looking forward to playing that. Also, there was another game coming out next year that I can't remember. Uh, oh, yeah. Resident Evil 7, of course, because I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. And uh, I heard Capcom is working on a remake for Resident Evil 2. So, damn, I can't wait for that thing to release. I mean, if they're going to do a remake for two how come they just can't go all the way and just remake number three also you know why do you gotta do number two but that makes sense i guess because uh two received more recognition than uh resident evil three and resident evil one as well because most people a lot of people actually started out with resident evil two instead of playing the first game um i started with the first game so that's how i knew about resident evil so um yeah, looking forward to playing Resident Evil 7. It does look incredibly different. Um, I mean, I'm glad that they are making it scary again, but damn, they are changing up the game and making it kind of different from the previous one. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing what the hell is going on and and seeing what, um, what familiar characters show up in Resident Evil 7. I'm pretty sure some familiar characters will show up in that game. Uh, all right. So I'm Omega Primus, and I will see you in maybe another week or two when I show my final pickups of the year. Pretty much just showing all the uh, Blu-rays and games I picked up over the course of the past few weeks and Black Friday. Uh, yeah, that's all. Have fun, be well, and I gotta get back to playing more Final Fantasy XV. My god, this game is addicting. <laughs> it's really fun. I like it really do. All right. See you guys later.